the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 312, John 14-15 Way, Truth, Life Jesus promised that after ascending to the Father's house, the Holy Spirit as a counselor would come upon the disciples in his name. First point, St. John recorded that during the final Passover, and the first communion, Jesus had a deep conversation with his disciples. St. John thoroughly detailed how Jesus spent the last Passover with his disciples and then turned it into Holy Communion. He also recorded the content of what Jesus said to his disciples on that night. Jesus spoke about how Judas Iscariot would betray him, his death, how Peter would deny him three times, as well as consoling his disciples when they worried about Jesus. To Thomas, Jesus told him that he was the way, the truth, and the life, and that no one comes to the Father except through him. As such, Jesus explained that the only way was through him. Although Jesus had told his disciples on many occasions that he and God were one, there were many, including Philip, who did not understand this. Therefore, Jesus once again told them that he and God were one and united. Therefore, those who believe in Jesus can do two things. The first is that they could do the things Jesus did and receive bigger powers. The second is to receive anything after asking it in the name of Jesus. Second point. After Jesus ascended into heaven, God sent the Holy Spirit to Jesus' disciples. Whilst observing the first Holy Communion with his disciples, he told them about the Holy Spirit. This was for them to prepare the way for the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit would come and this would mean that Jesus would dwell among them forever. And Jesus promised. Jesus told them that he would give them peace beyond the earthly form of peace. Jesus then gave consoling words as they would be left behind. He also told them about resurrection and ascension into heaven. Third point, Jesus explained the relationship between God, Jesus, and Christians through the parable of the grape tree. Jesus spoke about the relationship between God, Jesus, and Christians. Right on, this subject was also spoken through St. Paul. The parable of the grape tree occurs frequently in the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, God was the farmer, and the Israelites were the grape. The message Jesus gave to the disciples was the following. First, if they remained in Jesus and believed his words, they would be granted whatever they wished for. Second, God would receive glory from their efforts, and they would become God's disciples. Third, if they kept God's laws, they would remain in God's love. First point, God befriended Abraham and Jesus befriended his disciples. Abraham was called a righteous man of faith, and through his sacrificial acts on Mount Moriah, he became God's friend. As God called Abraham his friend, Jesus also called his disciples his friends. Fifth point, Jesus said that as the world rebuked Jesus, the world would also rebuke his disciples. Jesus spoke of the relationship between the disciples and the world. As the world hated Jesus, the world would also hate the disciples. Jesus' words were the fulfillment of Psalms. 
Jesus proclaimed that the Holy Spirit would come to them soon. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app. 